Welcome foodies. Today we're diving into the delectable offerings from the buffet, bars, and restaurant at Occidental Caribe, an all-inclusive resort located in Punta Cana, Dominica Republic. Before we begin our food adventure, if you have not checked out my previous video of Occidental Caribe, where I did a full tour showing the activities, the room and services offered, you can click on the card on your right or check out the pinned comment below. It's time to kickstart our day with a hearty, healthy breakfast of mimosas. Let's start with the breakfast at the El Alcazar Buffet. This all-inclusive hotel has seven specialty restaurants and two buffets. As it relates to the reservations for the restaurants, you are only allowed one reservation a day for each room and not per person. What that means, if two persons are staying in one room, two persons are not allowed to make reservations for the same day as the reservation goes under the room. The breakfast spread range from freshly baked breads with a panini maker close by, boiled eggs and made to order omelettes, hash browns and scrambled eggs. While staying at Occidental Caribe, the breakfast spread was the best meals I had in the buffet area and in the hotel overall. Everything breakfast related was included. As a Jamaican, I like the fact that they had boiled bananas and cooked down sausage, which went well together. The omelette was really delicious. They had bacon. I like my bacon crispy. They didn't do it crispy, but it was still good. And they also had some veggies, some tomatoes, some sandwiches ready to make if you do not want to make your own sandwich. They also had yogurt along with different toppings and the pastries for the breakfast were absolutely amazing the best pastries i had while there and it's so interesting that the pastries were better in the morning than at lunch or dinner time For lunch, you can get tomato order wrap with fillings such as beef, chicken, brown stuff, green stuff, tomato, more beef, and cheese, which I initially thought would have been warmed, but I didn't ask for it to be warmed, so maybe if I had asked, they would have warmed it. But even though it was cold, it was better than most the meals I had here. They had a good spread of deli meats and cheeses along with sauces, which I probably should have stuck with for the most part. The dishes were presented beautifully. This is where Occidental Caribe truly shined in the buffet area. If only they had put this level of effort in the flavor of the food, it would be a 10 out of 10. However, the beetroot was good and the fruits were fresh. As we make our way from the fresh fruits, we are on to the chickpeas, which I had. I believe it had ham in it and it was pretty decent. On day two, I decided to eat veggies as I was not impressed with the food when I initially went there during dinner time. And even though I initially tried veggies, I had no idea what this was and I was definitely not impressed. I did see sushi and I got very excited as I do enjoy sushi. However, I would give it a 5 out of 10 rating. And the reason I'm giving it a 5, it wasn't too bad, but it wasn't good either. It didn't make me want to go back for more. And being that sushi is up there in one of my favorite things to eat, that tells a lot. I will always be a fan of live cooking at restaurants or hotels and they had pork and chicken which I believe was extremely bland. I must say I did enjoy the mussels and salmon and there is not much you have to do when you're cooking mussels or salmon but this was my favorite thing I had while there for dinner option and I can't recall other seafood options I saw apart from this and the sushi. I should make note that this chef was extremely pleasant and friendly and the staff in this buffet area was extremely pleasant and attempted to be helpful even if it took a while for them to get back to you with your request even though i have a full messy plate i did eat all of it and this was delicious there was live cooking throughout each course at El Alcazar, giving you a range of options, some of which I had no idea what it was. If you know what he's cooking, please tell me in the comments below because I'm still curious. There were other food options such as stew goat, amongst other things, but with me being a visual eater, I was not interested. And while editing this video, I said something earlier that I should correct. There was seafood options, I just didn't see because that's sautéed squid and obviously there is is something right here that's obviously fish but i was just not interested there was also chickenless chicken soup and pumpkin soup so you have those options as well for all my sweet tooth lovers this section would have had you here for a while as everything looked and smelled delicious my favorite was the banana cake topped with a slice of banana and the cake with strawberry jam topping not too sweet vanilla filling which was soft and moist it had me coming back for seconds and i even brought up some to the room the way it was so delicious now 
they did have other cakes that looked like cakes but they had a pudding like consistency which i was not a fan of and they also had ice creams and ice cream cones along with a variety of toppings which you were able to choose from during the hours of 7 p.m to 10 p.m you are able to get meat and fish at the mara nostrum but it also doubles as a buffet area and i hope i'm saying that right mara nostrum Anyways, if I'm not, correct me down in the comments. But this was also a buffet area that is close to the pool. Their, their menu was more like, I don't know, they had chips. Uh, they have festival, what we call festival here in Jamaica. It was more like a quick snack more than something to really fill you up. They had sausage. So I went with something safe and I took the festivals or the fried dumplings. And I took some francs along with some ketchup. It was a pretty basic menu. Uh, they had beans as well nothing to really write home about nothing that was better than the main buffet area just above here is the pizzeria and a reservation is not needed however it was very full when i went and the wait time took around 30 to 40 minutes and i assume because they're using a brick oven that's why it took so long also if it is that it's full you might have to wait until the space clears up a bit For the pizzeria, it being one of the best foods I had, I'd definitely give it an 8 out of 10 including customer service and for the view, an obvious 10 out of 10. Look how beautiful. As I stated earlier, they have 7 specialty restaurants from Dominican, Italian, Mexican, Japanese and French to name a few and I had to actually go back to hotel services twice for each restaurant to see if anyone cancelled their reservation for me to get a spot. Fortunately for me, I secured a reservation at Hacienda, a Mexican restaurant. For appetizers, we went with the chips and dips and the chips weren't stale so I can't complain. The only thing I would say is that the glass was yellow and it was water. I don't know, it just turned me off so it had like that yellow look. But anyways, I got the shrimp and tomato rice. The shrimp had like a funny taste to it. I can't put my hands on it. I don't know if it's the storage but the dessert was really good and it was recommended by one of the staff it was absolutely amazing i think this was probably my second favorite dessert here now we're off to the second restaurant i was able to secure which is the japanese restaurant and as i said i am definitely a fan of sushi i've never seen the live cooking before you know with all the flames and all the excitement i never got that experience before so i definitely wanted to have that experience here no, this restaurant, safe to say, or assigned chef for this table, was definitely not in the best mood. He did the bare minimum and cut, but the food was alright. It, it wasn't the worst thing I had there. And the reason why I said he did the bare minimum, the table next to us, the other chef was going on from we entered. He was doing so much, getting the diners captivated in everything and doing the most. And even while our chef finished everything and we finished eating, he was still going on with the whole performance. So that's actually what I wanted to see. And it was just sad to say that my our chef didn't do that. The appetizers were pretty good and the sushi was better than the one in the buffet. I can say that if I were to rate this entire experience or restaurant, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. For customer service, I'd give it a 7.5 because of our table chef. Now, this is where Occidental Caribbean really shined with 8 bars, 12 of which were in the lobby on both right and left side. They did not hold back on the alcohol at all and each cocktail I had was really good. I drank so much pina colada. And each location I went to, all the bar staff was extremely pleasant. For the customer service, I would definitely give an 8.5 to 9 out of 10 because anything I asked, even if it wasn't bar related, even if I wanted one thing, they would definitely seek to assist me with that. So I cannot complain with there was a random martini section in the lobby on the right side on a Friday and it was pretty good. This is one part I can say Occidental Caribbean has right as it relates to the drink serving and the mixes that they have. The placement of the bars were ideal with three bars outside, one of which was located on the left side of the hotel. On the left side, there were two bars in total, 
one of which was located in the games room. As it relates to the outside bars, they were just a few feet away from the beach and they both had non-alcoholic options and alcoholic options to choose from. On the right side of the hotel, there was a bar located in the pool, which is typical of most hotels, and another close by if you did not want to go in the pool for a drink. At this location, you were able to sit outside and enjoy your cocktail while taking in the beautiful view and your surroundings. Each bar had a QR menu with a wide array of selection of cocktails and mocktails. Last but not least, the Taino Bar, which was located on the far right of the hotel. At this location, you're able to watch a well-presented choreography of Dominican culture unfold right in front of your eyes. This wraps up my food experience while at Occidental Caribe. And if you stayed at Occidental Caribe and had similar experiences, tell me in the comments below.